How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to show you how to make and trigger your own custom events in JavaScript. So what we have here is um, currently a web page with a single H2 header tag with an ID of number and just the number 0 inside it. In the browser we can take a look at it and we just see the number 0 and then that's it. So what we're going to do is actually make it so you can change the number inside this tag and the color of this text using a custom event. So to get started we'll just go inside the code here and just make a new constant for this header tag. We'll type out const header tag equals get element by id and just pass in number just like that. So now with this we're gonna do something like this. We're gonna say header tag dot add event listener and we're going to listen for the number changed event this event is custom and we're going to make it very soon but right now this is a custom event that we defined ourselves and we're going to say for the event handler a function so the same thing as normal with e the event object being passed in so it works just like a normal event except you make it yourself so now inside here, what we're going to do is we're going to change the, the text in the header tag and also the color of the text. So we can say uh, header tag dot text content equals, and we're going to use the event object here. We're going to say e dot detail dot number. And when we construct the custom event, we're going to make the detail property and make the number property. And of course, also make the event object itself. Now, for the uh, for the text color, we're going to do a similar thing. We're going to say header tag dot style dot color equals e dot detail dot text color. And that is all for the the add event listener method and also the event handler. Now we're going to actually make the event itself. So to change the the number. We're going to go inside the console in the browser and we're just going to say something like change number and then you know put something like 20 and then red. And we expect this function right here to change the color of the text to red and the number to be 20. So we're going to define this function right now. And this function will actually just make the event and then dispatch it. So down here we'll go, we'll just say function uh, change number. And we need to accept a, a number to change and also a color. So N and C. Now is where it gets interesting. So we're going to make our custom event right here. We're going to make a new variable, oh sorry, a new a new constant called event equal to a new custom event. And this is a real JavaScript class or object. So this is a real thing. A new custom event, and we're going to say the event name is number changed. And that's going to match up with that event listener right there. Now we're going to pass in the event object. So this object literal right here is the event object. Now we need to use the detail property just here. So detail is a specific property um, that comes with the custom event class. And you need to use detail in order to pass uh, properties or extra data to your event handler. With detail, we'll just say, you know, another object. I'm going to say number n and then text color c. So you can see how these two properties match up with this and this. And we're obviously getting n from the uh, function variable and also c from the function, uh, sorry, parameter. That's all for the custom event. Now we can simply just dispatch the event. So we want to call the event handler. We can say header tag dot dispatch event and then pass in the event object and that is all it takes let's now see in the browser what happens go back in here we'll refresh and we'll type out change number we'll put down uh, 15 and then yellow or maybe maybe blue. blue press enter boom so you can see how we've changed the a color of the text and the number in the text using a custom event. So just one more time to recap, we have um, 
we're adding an event listener to the header tag called number change. This is a completely custom name for an event, number changed. We're then defining the event handler, which accepts an event object just like normal. And we're getting and we're we're changing the text content of the header tag equal to the event object data dot number. So we're we're getting data from the event object itself. And same thing for the color. Now when we have the the change number method or function, we're making a new event, a new custom event called number change, which matches up with this, and we're passing in our own custom data through the detail property. And then we're simply just printing out, oh sorry, uh, we're simply just calling the event on the header tag. All right, that is how you can create your own custom events in JavaScript. Thank you for watching and see you later.